Hi everyone, my name is Francesco Zeccon and I'm a member of the Computation Optimization Group at Imperial College London. Today I'm presenting Galini, the extensible solver for mixed integer quadratically constrained optimization problems that I developed together with my collaborators. Mixed integer quadratically constrained optimization problems are a class of optimization problems where the objective and constraints are quadratic. They assume variables are bounded. If they are not bounded, Galini will try to reduce bounds. And if that fails, Galin will continue solving the problem but we cannot guarantee convergence. The first software that could handle nonlinear optimization problems was Startup in 1990. Since then, more and more software was developed. These Tynamo solvers include solvers that can handle more complex nonlinear expressions, not just quadratic expressions like Galini. In particular, Galini solves so called non convex optimization problems, that is, problems where the objective and constraints are possibly not convex. In the slide, we are lighting in both solvers that can handle this class of problem. Galini targets two types of users. The first group we target are end users, that is users that are interested in solving their optimization problems and see the software almost as a black box. The second group of users are solver and algorithm developers. Solver developers build new solvers with novel algorithms. They can use Galini as a toolbox of components useful for developing solvers while algorithm developers are interested in changing only specific parts of the optimization algorithm, for example by adding new cutting planes and test how they interact with a branch and bound algorithm. We are not the first group that releases this type of solver targeted at developers. For example, we have the Excellence Chip and Minotaur that can be used to develop new solvers by changing part of the existing solver. The main difference between Galini and these solvers is that Galini can be extended at runtime without changing the solver itself and also that the different extensions from different groups can be loaded at the same time by the end users. The focus of this presentation is Galini and its extensible branch and cut algorithm developed on top of the generic branch and bound code. But this work would have not been possible without the Python optimization software community since Galini uses several libraries. We use Suspect, also developed by our group, to perform feasibility-based bound tightening and convexity detection. Convexity is important when developing relaxations. We use Storming to build relaxation and perform optimization based bound tightening at the beginning of the branch and bound algorithm. Galini solves problems that are formulated using Pyomo, a modeling library for Python. We also use Pyomo for the internal representation of the optimization problem. This makes Galini internals familiar to users that already know how to work with Pyomo models and gives us access to all the new packages being developed for Pyomo. And finally, he let us use all the external solvers that are available to Payomo. For example, MIP solvers like Cplex and Ruby, and non-linear solvers like IPOPT. Thanks to these libraries and the people that work on them, we have a very solid foundation to build the extensible branch and cut algorithm presented today. Galini implements a generic branch and bound algorithm that solver developers extend to implement new solvers. The algorithm we implement is a fairly standard branch and bound Galini manages the state of the tree for you so that you can focus on the core of your solver. You implement a new solver by subclassing the branch and bound class provided by Galini and implementing the following methods. The first method is a callback called before we solve the root node. This callback should find a feasible solution as quickly as possible. Having a feasible solution is very important because we can use this upper bound to fathom nodes and when performing bounds tightening. Next, you need to implement a method to solve the optimization problem at the root node. Since this method is called only once at the beginning of the branch and bound algorithm, you can use it to initialize your data structures. This method should return a feasible solution, point and objective value, if any, together with the best possible objective value obtained, for example, by solving a relaxation of the problem. Then, the line will check for convergence. If the three best feasible solutions and the best possible solutions are within a user specified tolerance from each other, then Galini stops exploring the branch and bound tree and returns the solution to the users. Galini's solution includes the best feasible solution point and objective value, together with the best possible objective value. Your class needs to specify a branching strategy. This strategy is used after solving a branch and bound node to decide on which variable and at which point to branch. Galini can branch on multiple variables at multiple points, but does not support branching on linear expressions yet. Then, your class needs a strategy to select which node to visit of all the open nodes in the branch and bound tree. One possible strategy is to pick the node worst parent as the best possible solution. 
Finally, you need to implement a method that is told to solve each one of the non-root branch and bound nodes. Similar to the method for the root node, you should return a feasible solution objective and point, if any, together with the best possible objective value. We use the branch and bound class described in the previous section to implement a branch and cut algorithm that can be easily extended by algorithm developers. As we will see shortly, there are several parts of the algorithm that can be extended at runtime, without changing the solver itself. This approach has several advantages. For developers, it means they can distribute their extension independently from their Lini, while for end users, it means they can mix and match different extensions from different developers. The extension points we provide are what we think are the core components of a branch and cut algorithm. We include the cutting planes generators used to generate cuts at each iteration of the cut loop, the primal heuristic used to find a feasible solution after solving the relaxation, and the node selection and branching strategies. To make the linear extensible at runtime, we use a system-wide registry of classes provided by Python. The entries of this registry are also known as entry points. On the left, we see the state of the registry after installing Galini. We see the three cut generators that are shipped by default. On the right, the user is installing a new cut generator using pip, the Python package manager. As part of the installation process, pip will register the entry points defined by the package to the central registry. We can see on the left that the new cut generator is now registered. In this example, Galini sees that there are four cutting planes generators available and depending on the user configuration, we load a combination of them. The cut loop implemented by Galini is fairly standard. Galini includes a cut pool where all cuts are stored and also keeps track of which cuts were generated at which node. Generating cuts can be expensive, and so before we enter the cut loop proper, we check if any of the cuts from the current node parent are violated and add them to the problem. Also note that as an algorithm developer, you don't have to worry about managing cuts yourself. Galini will manage the cuts automatically by adding them to the optimization problem and to the cut pool. As we will see shortly, all you have to do is provide a list of valid cuts at every iteration of the cut loop. After introducing what Galini does for you, it's time to see what you need to implement to have a working cut generator. First, you need to implement two callbacks that are called before and after the cut loop. You can use these callbacks to initialize your data structure or clean up variables between different nodes. Then, you need to provide a function that informs Galini if your cut generator finished generating cuts. Galini will stop the cut loop after all cut generators finish generating cuts or after a maximum number of iterations. Finally, you need to implement the method that returns Galini the cuts to be added to the optimization problem. This method is called once per cut loop after solving the relaxation of the model. This method has access to both the original user model and the relaxation, together with the solution of the relaxation. This method must return a list of valid cuts that Galini will add to both the relaxation and the cut pool. If you can't generate any cut, you can return an empty list. If all cut generators return an empty list, then Galini will exit the cut loop early. The extension mechanism presented is flexible enough that we use it for the cut generators that are shipped by default in Galini. We include standard out approximation cuts, and since, as part of the relaxation process, we disaggregate converse expressions, we may add more than one cut for each of the original problem constraints. We also include a generator for cuts based on triangular inequalities and one that uses neural networks to select the best cuts. We test the Lini on 761 mixed integer quadratically constrained instances from MNLPLib2. All tests were run on a Linux machine with an 8 core Intel CPU and 16 GB of RAM. Galini uses CPLEX as MIP solver and IP up to solve non linear problems. All other solvers use their default configuration. We give solvers 5 minutes to solve each optimization problem to a relative gap of 10 to the minus 6. For the results presented today, we use a development version of Galini, Gurobi beta version 9.1, which is a pre release version of Gurobi, and for all other solvers, we use the version including GAMS 31.1. We compare Galini both with commercial solvers like Antigone, Baron, and Gurobi, and with open source solvers like Tuan and Steep. In the first set of results, we compare Galini running with different combinations of cut generators. The plot on the left contains a performance profile of the time it takes to solve instances to optimality, while on the right we compare relative gaps after 5 minutes. As we expected, disabling out-approximation cuts has a significant negative impact on performance. 
You also notice that when we activate more cut generators, we don't see a significant improvement in our results. This happens because the additional overhead of the extra generators means that Linux can explore less nodes in the branch and boundary. What this data shows is that we need to improve our implementation of the STP cut generator. In this slide, we compare Galini with other solvers. Again, on the left, we compare the runtime to solve to optimality, while on the right, we compare the relative gaps after 5 minutes. Galini is the blue line, and from the plot on the left, we can see that while Galini has a slow start, we end up solving a number of problems that's comparable with other solvers. When we compare the relative gap, we obtain again results that are comparable to other, more mature solvers. These results are expected since Stradini implements algorithms that are meant to be easily extended or changed, and it doesn't focus on speed alone. We believe that this result shows that Galini is a solid baseline to study algorithmic performance. Since Galini is targeted at developers, we include features that make the life of developers easier and help them debug their code. I want to highlight two of my favorite features. The first is a flag called Paranoid Mode that enables extra checks. For example, check that the cuts returned by a cut generators are violated. If a check fails, Galini will drop you into a Python console where the check failed, so that you can inspect the state of the program and even change the state itself to quickly test a fix. Logging is not limited to text, but you can log variables and matrices to analyze them later. For example, when developing auto approximation cuts, I use rich logging to debug the constraints being generated and compare them with values I knew were correct. One of our students built a cool dashboard to visualize the state of the branch and bound algorithm. The dashboard is at first empty. We can pick what to visualize from the menu in the top right corner. The Galini dashboard includes three components. The first component shows how the best feasible and possible objective values change as we progress through the branch and bound nodes. We can see that eventually the objectives converge. We have a component to visualize where Galini spends its time. We can see how in this case we spent around 30% of the total time in the cut loop. This is very helpful when debugging performance issues. Finally, we have a component to visualize the branch and bound tree. Since branch and bound tree can become very big, we can hide parts of the tree. As we zoom in, we display the node's best feasible and possible objective values. In this presentation, we introduced Delini, a solver for mixed integer quadratic constraint optimization problems that can be extended by solver and algorithm developers. I hope you found it interesting and exciting. And if you want to know more, you can visit our GitHub page where you can find the source code and ask any questions. And as always, thank you for your attention.